A few weeks ago I made a video about the most disgusting moments in season 1 of The Boys and many of you guys really seem to like that video. So I'm following up that video with the most disgusting moments in season 2 of The Boys and somehow this list is even worse and even more uncomfortable than what we saw in season 1. I didn't think that was really possible but anyways here we go. Also if you missed part 1 then you can find that video by clicking I think over here. And like I mentioned in the first video I won't be mentioning every single disgusting or uncomfortable moment only the most disturbing ones and the ones that are the most memorable. So if I missed anything that should be on the list then be sure to leave that in the comments. Anyways the first thing on this list is Gecko kind of selling his body to people who want to chop him to bits and then basically buying his body parts from him. I, I, I'd give the arm right? i just keep it refrigerated. Geez, I think that this is just so fucked up in like so many ways. This guy basically has the powers of Deadpool, but instead of using them to fight crime or save people like most people would do, he kind of just uses his body as a means for people to get out their murder fetishes or whatever kind of fetish they have where they just want to slice people to bits. You know, like people who watch way too many slasher movies. Where he is an s and hooker. And the scary thing is that this type of thing isn't too far off from what we would see in the real world. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't curious to see what it would be like to chop off another man's love sausage for an extra grand i'll let you chop off my dick moving on to the next disgusting moment and that is when the boys speed boat straight through a whale oh. But what makes this even funnier is just the way the deep stands on top of this whale. Like the way he poses like he's so proud to be the one who's probably going to try and stop crime. Because he barely ever stops anyone from doing anything. Because he's like one of the most useless superheroes. And then immediately gets knocked out. Also from what I've heard there was no CGI in this scene, that was a real whale that they just drove straight through. No seriously. Of course I'm kidding, I mean do you really think the writers of the boys would be those kind of people? But the fact that they were able to build a full sized fake whale is equally impressive. Oh fucking diabolical. And I just love the aftermath you know where Yui is just sitting in that whale like what the fuck has my life become? It is just so hilarious, like I really feel for the poor guy. Yep. Anyway, so this next one isn't really that disgusting, but it is super uncomfortable and awkward and just really disturbing to sit through and watch. And that is when we find out that Homelander has kidnapped Doppelganger and has been using him for all his special and very bizarre needs. Change the fuck back now, Doppelganger! <sighs> Like who knows what goes on in that psychotic mind of his, like I don't even want to know. But then it gets to that point where things just go off the rails and Doppelganger shapeshifts into Homelander to basically try and egg him on to see if Homelander would do it with himself. I'm gonna suck your cock so fucking hard. Like I can't even explain how messed up this was the first time I saw it. Like I was genuinely confused and curious to see if Homelander would actually, you know, go through with doing it with himself. Like I wouldn't put it past him, he seems so messed up in the head and so egocentric that he would just give in to doing such a thing. But like Doppelganger says, it's not gay if it's with yourself. It's not even gay if it's with yourself, right? So that takes loving yourself to a completely new level. But before Homelander gives in, he unfortunately kills Doppelganger. I don't need you! Okay, so the next thing on this list might actually be the most disgusting thing, in my opinion. And that's the moment where Homelander and Stormfront stop a criminal, but instead of handing him over to the police, they crush his skull and then they do it on top of his corpse. Listen, like I. Like, I want to meet the writers of this show because there has got to be something loose in their head to be able to come up with all these horrific acts. Like, it's just horrific to even think about and 
my goodness i don't even know how we are just kind of okay with this like it's scary to think that we are becoming desensitized to it and apparently there are way worse things to come in season four but just when you thought we've seen it all you are very wrong because later in that same episode i think we see mm getting strangled by um a man's well i'll just let mm say it for you was that it's okay that's his fucking dick. Don't be so close-minded. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, this was actually so hilarious. But just the reaction on M.M.'s face and Frenchie just mocking him is just something that will forever live rent-free in my mind. Only for M.M. to get PTSD when he sees him again in season 3. Love sausage, huh? This was good name for me. <laughs> the thing is, I haven't really read many of the boys comics, so I don't know if all these heroes are based off characters that already exist or if some of them are just completely made up. I mean, for someone to come up with the idea of a hero, hero, who has the ability to grow his love sausage so long that it can be used to strangle people is something that I never thought I would actually say in a sentence, but here we are. By the way, I would really appreciate it if you tap that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Brother got a love sausage. Anyway, so the last thing on this list is the courtroom scene. And I don't even think this moment needs an introduction because my goodness, I think this probably scarred everyone the first time they saw it. You have five minutes to make your opening scene. Because it's one of those things that is just so unexpected. Like you wouldn't think that anything was going to happen in a courtroom. You know, you just have Vagabond, Vogelbaum will wheel his way into the courtroom ready to testify. And then out of nowhere, the cherry pops. <laughs> and I kind of like the detail that the first person we see after that is Victoria Newman. Kind of hinting that she was the one that did it. But at that point, we were still completely clueless. But oh no, it doesn't stop there. Like majority of the people in that courtroom are just getting blown to bits. It is going on and on. And I'm just sitting there like, who's gonna die? Like I was waiting for one of the members of the Seven to just get their heads popped. And it's scary that Homelander doesn't even look concerned in the slightest. He's not afraid. He's just like, look at all these human scum, like so weak and fragile. I'm not just like the rest of you. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better. I am better. You're not the real heroes. I'm the real hero. But yes, that is another completely horrific and disgusting moment in the show. So I want to know from you guys, what is your most disgusting moment on this list and why? For me, it's probably between Homelander and Stormfront doing it on the body of a dead man and the courtroom scene. Like those two were just like the weirdest and like most disgusting things to watch. Even though the courtroom scene was kind of cool at first, which I hate to say it because like I feel like it shouldn't be cool but we're just so used to it at this point that we're not even phased by it and don't worry my video about the most disgusting moments in season three is right around the corner so be sure to subscribe to see that also if you want to check out my full playlist on the boys then click here and i'll see you guys in the next one